Hello, good morning. It's Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the European indices on the uh, Monday, 27th of June, uh, 2016. Please do visit tradesignal.com, signals of market updates from leading providers, www.tradesignal.com, and you can certainly download the app from the Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay, in terms of European markets this morning, then, we're certainly uh, are seeing a potential bounce back given the, given the overnight lows, okay? Uh, the, the lows were quite substantial overnight, and the market certainly is attempting a clawback. Your Asian market certainly bullish overnight, with the uh, Nikkei up 2.4% uh, and the Shanghai up 1.44%. Certainly a bullish move, momentum from there. Certainly is uh, alleviating potential concerns about Brexit, okay, and the Brexit uh, obviously aftermath and uh, and the showdown. So now again, uh, talk of potential stimulus from uh, Japan. Japan certainly you're doing the rounds again. Certainly, talk of almost 10 trillion, so that will certainly help the equity markets uh, potentially uh, stabilize and certainly look to uh, potentially move higher. Okay, so again, a bullish bias now on Europe on European equities post the Brexit. We've had Mr. Osborne talking this morning as well. We have Mr. Draghi certainly talking later on. So, again, it's all about stabilization now and stabilizing the markets. Okay, uh, so again, say so Germany has sort of great interest in strong ties with Britain given military and economic background, etc. So it's all about sharing the common ground now, uh, and certainly is uh, a potential reconciliatory uh, speech, uh, and certainly cooperation, etc. Any type of uh, rhetoric like that, and uh, certainly as long as it's not uh, bearish or uh, negative rhetoric, then generally it's considered to be bullish for equities. So there is going to be some sort of cooperation or some sort of agreement, okay? And therefore that will be a potentially uh, a risk on a factor or risk of trade. And you certainly should see a potential uh, a swift re re retracement, uh, okay, and a rebound as well, uh, in especially the equity. So again, Asian markets higher, Japanese QE talk as well. So again, that should certainly help the equity markets, okay. Any potential stimulus, central banks and uh, governments attempting to stabilize the markets as well. Everything generally in indicates a potential uh, a short squeeze trigger, okay. In terms of the markets themselves, in terms of economic data, the only bullish news that we've really had is out of New Zealand overnight. Uh, that's one of my reasons why I'm long the Kiwi, strong imports and exports and trade balance data. Uh, and we also have uh, US data due out uh, later on, goods trades, goods trade balance, market PMI, Dallas, uh, Fed. So again, uh, about of uh, economic data out there, okay. In terms of European markets, European 350 looking at double bottom scenario, certainly looking to potentially base out here. The daily chart on the European 350 into gap fill support, so again looking to stabilise. Okay, and look for a potential move higher. Okay, in terms of the German DAX, let's bring that up for you. So again, German DAX is consolidating really on the 60-minute chart. You clearly see it clear that we are potentially forming a bull flag, uh, and again, it's all bullish consolidation for the next potential move higher. Okay, daily chart of the German DAX certainly an inside bar holding that uh, inside bar candle today. Uh, as, you, as you can see here, certainly is holding inside. So again, bullish consolidation after closing that gap. And therefore, you're looking for a potential bullish bias. In terms of the French CAC at the moment, French CAC again trying to hold that double bottom, build a base, and obviously project itself from there and start to move higher. So again, that is your base for the market at present. In terms of the 60-minute chart of the French CAC, again, you have this bottoming tail here, and that bottoming tail certainly is expected to hold, and certainly looking for a potential rally. Okay, so again, all eyes on that potential rally. Okay, now. In terms of the FTSE 100 for you as well, you are you do have previous resistance equal support around the 6050 level, and that certainly is expected to hold. You have unfilled gap above at the 6160 zone, so again that certainly needs to potentially close. Okay, so keep an eye on that potential gap above, especially with Chinese markets obviously uh, higher overnight. So certainly take that into consideration. Okay. Right then, yeah, in terms of the uh, Euro stocks, that's the last uh, indices just to cross verify and explain my potential long setup there. Okay, so again, double bottom support, gap for you have uh, the bottoming tail, so again, that's one of the reasons why I'm along the, uh, the Euro stocks again. 10 minute chart, certainly looking at potential uh, double bottom scenario, so again, building a base uh, and therefore remains bullish. Okay, looking for a potential move higher. The daily chart at the moment of the euro stocks again into gap fill support, certainly looking to potentially bounce here. Okay, so again, from my perspective, UK markets, European markets in support, and therefore ripe for a potential rebound on the back of uh, stronger Asian markets. Okay, folks, 
I think that's a market wrap. Goodbye now.